Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So as you see today, we're gonna to be getting an update on the thumbnail dart frogs. I also got some fruit fly cultures from LLL Reptile came in the mail today, so we're gonna unbox those real quickly. But first, we are gonna see some fish before we get to the thumbnail dart frogs. And I'm just gonna show you the next step of the 125 gallon nano fish tank, the tank we're breaking down, and the fish that are gonna move over there. So stay tuned. All right, so here we go. Here is the box in question from like I said, LLL Reptile Supplies. All right, oops, that might have been a little too deep, hopefully not. Uh, I have had, now I have ordered from LLL Reptile lots of times when it comes to feeders, uh, specifically crickets. That was before I got into Doobie Roaches, and then once I got into Doobie Roaches, no more crickets. So here is Fruit Fly Melanogaster. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Probably help if I put it on camera, there we go. Some cruising around in there, not a lot. I'm hoping one of these is an actual culture that's ready to go. Although it doesn't really look like it, that might be a problem. Um, yeah, these are all starter cultures. So that's, uh, that's no good. The reason that's no good is because my last culture finally crashed, it is done and over with. And I thought I ordered producing cultures, but I guess I made a mistake. I should look at my receipt right here. It doesn't really specify one way or the other. I thought there was an option on the website and I chose the right one, but I guess not. Uh, but anyways, so these four were $49.99 with free shipping, free overnight shipping. So it comes out to about $12.50 each, which was not a bad price for me at my local uh, reptile store. They're, they're like $11 each, so. So the reason I had to order these online instead of going to my local reptile store is they were out of them. So I got these overnighted. Uh, they're actually right behind me right over here now. But I got them overnighted and they just weren't producing yet. So I actually had to go to Petco to get some. And I was actually surprised by how many are in here. It was like $11 again. They're all around the same price. But let me show you these guys. So it doesn't look like there's a lot in here. But there actually is a lot more than what were in the ones that I got sent. So I should be able to use this one until those other ones get going. So let's throw some in and see what happens. All right, so we actually have two frogs out right now. We have one right here. Really hard to get these guys on focus. And here we have another one down here. Oh, oh. Is he gonna get it? Hey, look at that, we got a live feeding. I know I said I don't do live feedings, but come on, it's a fruit fly, guys. If that hurt your feelers, I'm sorry. I'm uh, not sure where the other two are. There were three out here when I first came in here. Now I'm just not seeing them anywhere. They like to hang out down here in these leaves where I can never see them, but there's puddles of water in there, so probably why they like to hang out there. Overall though, the terrarium's not doing too bad. There's still a spider in here somewhere. I don't know if you can see the web. There it is right there, right here which is getting really, really annoying. He's getting a lot of these fruit flies, uh, and I just, I've just i never seen him in here. I don't know how to get rid of him. He's obviously too big for the frogs to eat. Uh, other than that though, plants are doing fine. You remember there was a plant right around here that died, and uh, also this guy is not doing too well. It's slowly growing, but it's dying at the same time, kind of weird. This plant hasn't grown at all. This plant here is doing amazing. Uh, it's other one down here. Not doing so well, but it's pretty shaded. I might move that over here, we'll see. And then of course the pothos is just taking off like crazy because no matter what, that's what they do. Both these guys hanging out down here now. Let's see if we can focus. Nope. Right there's one, and then there's one up here. But overall, definitely happy with how this is turning out. It's been a lot of fun. Good learning experience so far. First ever dart frogs, as most of you know. Oh, there he goes. Did I miss it? He's looking for something. Oh, and then he fell down. <laughs> you goofball. 
So they're definitely getting more and more used to me, which is nice. I actually put these guys in a high traffic area, which might be kind of a douchey thing to do, but I think they're getting used to seeing us a lot, so they're out a little bit more. So in the end, it works out. All right, everyone, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the update on the dart frogs. I wanna know what you guys think about these reptile updates. I've been throwing them in very slowly and I know this is a fish channel, so let me know your comments down below. I always like to get feedback. I know I've asked this before, but I just like to keep up with the feedback on the channel. I know we got new people, old people coming back, which is awesome. So just let me know down below if you like these type of videos. Otherwise, like I said, we're gonna be moving those fish over. That's the next project, the next video. And then we also gotta rescape this uh, 40 gallon planted dirt tank and uh, do something with it because it's pretty boring. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget a thumbs up, leave the comment down below and I'll see you all next time.